Hey. I know it's like crazy late. I just had to jump back on here for this. I know y'all like all of this drama, so I'm giving y'all what y'all like. Y'all jump on here for real quick. Well, can y'all see me? I need to turn some lights on, but I don't feel like getting up. Okay, so that helps. Greetings, 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 and good morning. It is late night, uh, late night hour. So I just wanted to jump on. I just wanted to jump on because it was all of this um, talk about Sissy Houston, Sissy Houston, the mother of Whitney Houston being um, being dead or having um, passed. And I know that a number of um, a number of you. And a number of people really, you know, they want to be uh, so-called journalists. They want to be, um, um, you know, so-called influencers and and what have you. But you just don't have the talent. You just don't have the ex expertise, and you you just don't have the the skill set. Um, there's something that is very, 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 very important when it comes to journalism and when it comes to um, being an influencer and especially if you have any kind of um, a significant following, you must fact check. You sometimes, even if you have a hot story or have a hot tip, you may not be able to be the first person to get it out. You may not be able to get that exclusive because um, you are you are somewhat delayed with getting um, um, the facts in line. Now, I've been doing this now for a, a while and I know PR, I know uh, the the journalism side. Uh, sports reporting, political reporting, um, and uh, know that you have to, you have to be accurate. And the larger of a following and the larger audience you have, you have to be very responsible. You have to be cosmic. I was sued. I was sued for def. Although I won, um, uh, I was sued for defamation of character. Uh, by someone that I did a story on that was absolutely true, uh, and was a that was part of the reason that um, the uh, that well they actually uh, to be frank they actually won, and then um, once they won because I wasn't properly served or had it was not informed um, that I was being sued, we were able to get the motion vacated because it was incorrect and I was able to present proof. So uh, in some instances, uh, and a lot of times I get the exclusive because I know what's going on. I have accurate sources and I have um, been able to quickly find out, find out the truth. But I wanted to come on and discuss this real quick because I thought of all people to make such an irresponsible statement that is so interesting that the man that whines and cries about anybody saying anything about him um, would jump and make that make that statement. And then to have the temerity, the audacity and the unmitigated gall to say that, oh, I come uh, or, or to attempt to clap back and say um, some people are mistaken um, that I, uh, because you come in peace, that you're not ready for war. No, let's be clear, Ernest. You're not ready. <laughs> you're not ready to go to war. So what you're saying is, what you're saying for by that statement is, you're ready to go to war with Dion Warwick. You're you're ready to go to war about your mistake 
And instead of profusely um, acknowledging your error and correcting it or apologizing um, that you got something wrong and you jumped on it and you moved on it and you posted it or, or, or shared it on social media prior to um, fact checking, that's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. But your response about that, that doesn't mean that you're ready for war. OK, let me tell you how I know you're not ready for war. You're not ready for war because I have posted. I have posted your story on why you had to leave Washington, D.C. I posted the story um, when you were perusing. Um, uh, what was that site? A um, And several um uh men contacted me in regard to you and then when i posted the story more came forward so we posted probably we probably blogged and did about three or four stories on some of your illicit situations with um with men um now since you want to report stuff that's inaccurate let's report or let's talk about the um the rumors that have been flying around that you are married to the man that you're legally married to the man that is supposed to be your manager okay so let, let's let's talk about that since 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 you want to be irresponsible and you want to go to war <laughs> all right are you ready to fight because there's there's a war going on and i, I mean and some people it's not you just got it wrong. If she's ill, if she, when I reported, a lot of people got upset when I reported about uh, Jessa Delano Ellis being dead. I knew for a fact that he was dead when I reported it. I don't care what his daughter Jessica said or responded on my post um when when I blogged about him being deceased, I knew for a fact that he had transitioned when I posted it. And the interesting thing is as as shrewd as Cookie is, um uh, her mother Sabrina Ellis, they, her nickname was Cookie, as shrewd as she is, nobody sued me. Nobody came after me. And then <laughs> And then when they put out his death notice, when they put out his death notice, they were careful not to even put the date that he that he uh, 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 died. OK, they just said that he was that, that he that he was gone. So my thing is, is that if you're going to be an influencer or if you're going to want to be a blogger, and everybody wants to jump in this business. Everybody wants to jump in the business of, 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 of disseminating information. But while we fact check, and let me fact check this. Is this not your jacked profile picture? Let's fact check that. You see the J? You see the, you see the J? Now, all the men that are on the app jacked, you know that J is 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 right down there now i will dare not i will dare not expose you to the point where we'll put your your full uh frontal nudity pictures on here but we do have them let's be clear so uh and that uh your that you in your profile that you're down <laughs> that you're down for whatever so I just think it's I think it's just it, it's just irresponsible. And I guess everybody's going to hate Kim Burrell for saying or suggesting to him to do better. But that's correct. Don't report and say something and be irresponsible and 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 affect uh, folks lives. Dion Warwick sitting up at the at the U.S. Open supporting Serena uh, 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 Williams tonight. And uh, I'm sure you had her phone and folks uh, 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 phones and their family blowing up because you uh, you posted that or you put that out there. And then by you being 
a um, known gospel artist, a lot of people would take what you say as to be accurate. Okay, and the, the other other part, why why ha- if you want to share something, let's go back and share what really happened with you and Keon Henderson. And why you why you allegedly sued him or threatened to sue him. But, you know, I mean, if you're going to clear the air or you want to report on something, what was the deal with you and Justin Edwards? You know, so I I don't know. I just I know y'all like this kind of stuff. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I tried. I tried to be nice. I tried to be nice. Hey, Emma, where you been, girl? Mama Emma Stewart is on. Mother Emma Stewart is on. Why you not in the bed? I love I love my uh my fans and supporters. Who's on here? Y'all say good morning. Uh Latasha Matthews. Who else is this? Oh, I can't even see. Let me hold the other f- the light. Uh Latasha Matthews, Dana Mitchell. There's some folks on here I never seen before. Oh wow! I got this many people on at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning Eastern. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and say that I'm gonna come back because uh, I told you I was gonna start doing more lives. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do lives like all these other folks do lives. They do lives every ten, fifteen minutes. <laughs> y'all want me to do more lives? Tell me, tell me, tell me by a show of hands if y'all want me to come on and do. Uh, um, do more live. Hey, um, this guy named Takarius Tuc- 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 Atkinson. Are you related to uh, Laron Atkinson? Tell Laron I um, I've been I ain't heard from him in a minute. He needs to give me a ring because I think he lives down there in Orlando, and I got that story coming out of Orlando. You know, you have to you have to have proof you have to fact check like when i reported that paul i reported on a wednesday night that paul martin had a daughter out of wedlock before he was married to deborah and her mother died with cancer i reported that on a wednesday night on sunday morning he was confessing that it was true in his pulpit you have to fact check. You have to be accurate. You have to be responsible. You have to say, oh, don't you, you know, you just running to be the first. And some people, they get mad when I say that somebody, you know, they, that, uh, that a person has died and everybody don't, don't know. Well, I know that they are gone. I have fact checked it. I have found it out. And then they said, well, the family ain't been informed. Well, they got informed when I reported it. That's how they got, that's how, that's how they got informed. Now, now they didn't know. Now they know. Now they are aware. But it, you know, mm, I'm just looking at these pictures. I think I'm going to post these on my website. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So this is his name. I got the profile name. So this is his this is his name, 49 years old, six, six, uh, six, uh, feet tall, 190 pounds, real pick on request, laid back top cat into, not into back and forth and endless conversations and picture swapping. Let's get it done. If you're not at least 30 years old, please keep it moving. No threesomes or groups down for whatever. Enjoy sports. Love a good bottom cat that can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, who can handle this? Uh, and he curses uh, this shiznit. Be clean. Be ready. Be independent. So, yeah, I know y'all like all of this. I know. Oh, look. Oh, look. <laughs> Are you all in shock in the, in, in this morning? Are you are you in, are you in shock? And and then went through all of that. Had um, preachers and and uh, um, fake lawyers calling me when you wanted uh, one of your uh, stories taken down, talking about you. Uh, some folks 
is not ready for war. War for what? Dude, you'll get taken out. You, 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 your own worst enemy. You putting your own self on front street. Oh, and then this is the, this is the chat box. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do? Okay. So this is when he sent his picture. Can y'all see it? Okay, so that's when he sent his picture to the guy. And the guy said, what's up? And then he said, you tell me, looking. Oh, y'all, do y'all know what that means, looking? Okay. So I got all that. So anyway, I just wanted to... Um, yeah. I just wanted to cover y'all, y'all, y'all with y'all didn't like the nice Sir William, y'all didn't like the nice Sir William. So if I get some cash apps from um, from this, uh, and y'all want and whoever wants to um, to uh, see his uh, see his profile uh, pictures and the new ones, you know, just going to send a love offering, and we can um, let that treat pop up in your inbox. Amen. Amen. That if that's if you don't if you if you want to make sure if you have any uh what they said uh when I rose this morning I didn't have no doubt. When I rose this morning I didn't have no doubt. No doubt, no doubt. I didn't have no doubt. So anyway, for those of you that may have some doubt that I may not be telling what is uh uh, the irrefutable truth, you know, you're going to drop a love offering and I'll, um, I'll let something appear in your inbox to let you know that it is, uh, do you, what do they say you in court? Put your hand on the Bible. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth? Um, so help you God. Uh, <laughs> it, it, ain't that what they say when you go to court? Y'all been to court. Ain't that what they ain't that what they tell you to say? Uh, uh, put your hand on the Bible. I always wondered what if the person that is putting their hand on the Bible, what if they not Christian? What if they don't believe the word? I wonder, do they ever? Do they ever? Do they ever go into that and ask a person? Because it's some people. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm sure it's some people that ain't saved or or maybe of a different religion that don't care about the Bible. And they'll just put their hand on there and say whatever. You, you know what I mean? They'll just put, put their hand up there and say, yeah, I, I, I was going to tell the truth, the whole truth. All right. Y'all ain't saying nothing. These people are not saying nothing. Lisa Hall is joined. Buffy is doing. Oh, thank you, Buffy Ferguson. They said those that have uh, doubt obviously don't know Sir William. Listen, listen, uh, Buffy uh, uh, Ferguson, you better tell. You better let them know. I'm talking about you, they not ready for war. No, you not ready for war, sir. You're not, you're not ready for war. You're not even ready for any little simple battle. Go on and try to start your church in Memphis, back in your hometown, like you was going to try to do. And then just go on. If you're married to this man, just go on and come out. You got all these alternative churches. You got all these, you know, um, same gender loving churches and pastors. Just go on and tell your truth. Tell that you a man and you like men. And you married a man. Go on and tell it. Be free. Be free. Be be uh uh and just and just tell it. Oh y'all in shock. Oh stop that. All right, Kevin D uh uh Martin. And y'all gonna probably hate Kim for saying for saying, Ernest, you got to do better. Saying that woman's dead. You know, 
you know, instead of, and instead of, and then there's so many other simple ways you could say, you could have, they could have, you could have did a post and, and said, um, please keep Sissy Houston in prayer. The mother of, of our beloved, um, Whitney, uh, it's so many other ways. And if I'm telling, am I talking right? Am I talking right? Cause I know a lot of folks is not going to like this kind of teaching and y'all ain't going to like that. Um, that I'm coming uh, back. Cause everybody was like, Oh, you're so nice now. Oh, I used to follow you, but then you just got, so you got, uh, you, you, you wasn't hard cutting like you. Oh, those days are over. Those days are over. You, they should have never told me. They should have never told me to come with it. So I'm coming with it. All right, y'all. Go to bed. Bye. Don't forget, if you want those pictures and that irrefutable proof that I have, send an offering. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> ah! <sighs> okay, where? Oh, there go the end button.